Hey guys, one minute here. Today I'm going to show you the best settings for Adobe After Effects Twixter. So let's jump straight into it. So you load up After Effects, go to Composition and New Composition. Um, just leave it however you want. Do what settings you want. I put my duration at one minute, just cause it leaves me a bit of time and stuff. And you might want you want to um, set the time more than the clip lasts so because when the twix are in your mark it might go over what you actually need um, I can't really explain it very well but <laughs> anyway press ok and then what you do is import your clip I'm just going to drag it straight on and then drag it onto the bottom right click on your timeline on the thing and then go to frame blending pixel motion and then I'm just going to change the quarter. Uh, the quarter. <laughs> I'm going to change the um, quality down to quarter, so um, it's easier to like slide through a bit. It renders it a bit quicker. And um, when you render it, it will um, it will render to the settings you've done. It won't render quarter. It will um, render to HD settings if you've put it HD. So the first thing we're going to do is um, add the effect Twixter Pro 4.5 and um, yeah, you just click on, you go into effects, and then go to your Twixter here. If it's not on there, go to your um, effects and presets um, tab at the side, and just type in Twixter, and just scroll down and go to Twixter Pro 4.5. If you can't get the effects and presets up, what you're gonna do is go to Window and tick the effects and presets, or either press Control and Five to get it up. But the quickest way is just to um, effects and go straight onto it. Now I've actually saved the settings, took the settings there as my preset, but I'm going to go through it with you to explain it a bit. So input frame, change that to 59.94, go to image prep and change it to contrast and edge enhance and then go to frame interp and change it from blend to motion wedged wait, weighted blend, I don't know motion weighted blend or something and then um, what that actually does is for example on one of F3 when you've got the scope and you zoom in it has like two scopes, it has like another scope over the top of it that's like sort of transparent and it just looks really unclean and that actually gets rid of it, not fully sometimes, sometimes it is there, sometimes it isn't it uh, depends how fast the scope's going to think and how much motion there is and um, this actually does reduce it a lot which helps so much and um, I didn't do that last time like when every time I've used Twix I've never done that and mine always been dodgy, as soon as I did that it just came out perfect um, and then change warping from inverse to inverse with smart blend and then we're going to go down to is the main VG layer settings and change it from 70 to 60. And then go on to FG1 settings and change the FG1 motion setting to 60%. And then go to um, change it from red to alpha. And there are actually the settings, and that's pretty much it. Then you want to open up the little tab down here, go to effects, Twixter Pro 4.5 go to output control and then you've got the speed and stuff here you can control I'm just gonna skip for a bit to where I want it to um, do it so it's like around here somewhere, um, hold control and use your arrow keys to like go through each individual frame just gonna keep getting back um, my um, kills about here, so I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 15 frames back. I did, um, click on the little stopwatch thing at um, 100%, which is just normal um, frame, like the normal frame rate and speed it goes at. And what I'm gonna do is go about. about 15 frames forward and then I'm going to change the size down to about I'll say about 10 so it's fairly slow and then just go forward as much as you want if it's like a beat or something so like 
I actually got a beat to this, but if it was, then say the beat was like I know here or something, you just drag it to it goes to like the beat or whatever. So I can't really, I'm not really going to do a sinker to try at the moment. This is just basically how to do Twixter and stuff. So there you go. That's um, that's done. Yeah, that's gone back to 100% now. So that would have gone slow motion, and then it would have gone back up again. But what you might want to do is add a keyframe before it. So about 10 frames. Yeah, about 10 frames, and change it to what was that? Was that 10? Yeah, it was 10, wasn't it? Change to 10. You want to what you want to do is add before. Say if you're getting a kill on one three, you want to add like a hundred before it, then go down to like I don't know 10 or whatever speed you want. And then before you're going to change it back up to 100, you want to put add another keyframe of the speed to change it down to, and then put it back up to there. Otherwise, it will have like it will just keep going up and up and up in between these. But obviously, I've added that there, so then it's going to speed up after that keyframe. So um, I'll just render it. So I've got my review here. If you don't have to get that, go to Window and tick Review, or either Control Three and look up on the side. And you can have full screen, so when you render it, it goes on full screen, but I don't like that. You can have a front current time, which is where your um, thing already is. But if you don't, if you untick that, then it will render it right from the very beginning. But I want it from where it is at the moment. Frame rate, I've just got a 29.97. And that's about it. And then ramp review option. And then you just press the other, um, RAM review. And it will start rendering it. Um, I've actually shown how to do a lot of things with this tutorial at the moment. <laughs> it's more than just Twixter. So, maybe fairly slowish, depending on your computer. There we go, it's picked itself up now. So, it's just going to go through. And when um, it's done what I wanted to do, I'm just going to press space bar to um, play it. Or you can just press play on here. Try so, um, render a bit after. I think there's sound on it, so I want to mute it, but I can't. Oh, wait, it's sound there. Mute it. Oops, shit, sorry about that. Let me just mute the sound. There you go. Alright, oh, render it again. So here we go, look. There's the slow motion. See how I like. I know it was fairly pretty quick because it didn't last very long. But you see how it went really slow? Um, I think you can loop this actually, but. How do you loop it? <laughs> I don't know how you loop it, but oh, that's looping it. Wait, which one's loop? Click to change op loop option. So that's loop, so it should loop. Oh, yeah, it does loop. <laughs> so, and you can see it's fairly decent. There's no like gun dodginess going on like around the edges or anything, it's just pretty smooth. But we'll see where there, look, you can actually see it's a bit dodgy. But when you actually render it, it's actually not, it's fine. So that's actually pretty much it. So please subscribe um, if you thought this was a good tutorial, or like it, if you thought it was a good tutorial. Um, just give me some feedback on what you thought. Tell me if you have any problems. And just ask me if you want me to do any other tutorials, any requests. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so I'm actually going to show you what the finished rendered version looks like. I'm actually going to render. I'm actually going to twix for a bit more after this, just to show you more detail what it looks like. So please watch that. So thanks for listening. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.